So we have 13.5 kilowatt hours of backup storage in our Powerwall 3. And then in our expansion unit, we have an additional 13.5 kilowatt hours of additional capacity. All right, welcome back to the New York State Solar Farm Warehouse. A lot has changed since we were here last time. It was a mess before. We said we were gonna get things together a little bit and we did. We have our racking installed. Uh, we have all new LED lighting up top. There used to be this rib system in this warehouse that we're able to cut out to make more room. So we have uh, another level up where we can keep panels. Uh, with this racking, which is really cool. It's gonna be so much more efficient for getting material. You can see we have our, our power wall twos over here, um, a power wall that is getting sent back to Tesla over there, one of our RMAs. It doesn't happen too often. Um, probably with all the power walls we've installed, this is maybe the third one that we've ever had to RMA. But Tesla expansion unit um, in our Update videos, we had one Tesla Powerwall 3, and that was powering our warehouse um, through the dead of the winter. We ran into some limitations as well where the crew got here in the morning and we couldn't get the door open because we just, we tapped out of juice. We had snow on the roof, battery was drained, and then uh, guys still got in, were able to pull the garage door up, and right when the sun came out that day, it was charging the battery back up again. But to help with those issues of draining the battery, the winter months, not having enough capacity, perfect timing, the Tesla Powerwall 3 expansion unit came out. So we have 13.5 kilowatt hours of backup storage in our Powerwall 3. And then in our expansion unit, we have an additional 13.5 kilowatt hours of additional capacity. So being able to double our capacity was awesome. End of January is when we installed it and we have not had any issues since then of getting in here and lights flickering or anything like that. Uh, that added capacity has been a game changer for this system here. We're definitely going to do more tests with it, off-grid tests. Right now we're running the system uh, in an off-grid mode and it's just been you know, running without a hitch or having any issues. Some cool characteristics of the expansion unit, which you'll see overlaid in this video from our install team, is the ease of installing the Powerwall 3 expansion is crazy how quick we're able to get these installed. The reason being, you could see there's no conduit here. There's this trunk cable going from the Powerwall 3 to the expansion unit, where in the past, if we had multiple Powerwalls, we would have conduit going from one power wall to the next power wall or going from our gateway to the power wall. Now with this expansion unit, you're just, you can mount it up either on the side or on the front, um, but it just has one uh, harness. It's, it's actually called a harness cable going from one to the other where it has the communication cable um, and all of the other lines inside of it that basically use the internals of the Powerwall 3. So you're having all of the Powerwall control systems of the Powerwall 3 um, that are powering the expansion unit. That's why the expansion unit is cheaper than just the typical Powerwall 3 because the expansion unit doesn't have any of the inverter or any of those other electronics to manage the battery. All of those components are in here. So this is just the lithium ion battery of 13.5 kilowatt hours of backup storage. So the other things that we learned about this are how you can mount these. So this was already existing. So I didn't wanna take this one off the wall. Uh, what I wanted to do was just add this one next to it, mostly because it's visual. I wanted to see it if we wanted to change anything or test anything or take the covers off. 
I wanted them side by side. Um, what Tesla recommends uh, is six inches between. Uh, you could go four inches minimum, depending on the AHJs that you're in. Uh, sometimes it's three feet. Uh, what we did here is roughly six inches in between power walls. There's other configurations that you could do where you could actually have the power wall ground mounted, so it'd be lower on the ground, and you could stack them in front of the, each other. Now the thing about it when you stack them, uh, you could see the dimensions. Uh, if you come on the side here, we showed this in the last video, but you could see the thickness of the power wall three is thicker and the expansion unit is a little thinner. So when mounting these in a stacking formation, you have to have the expansion unit being the one closest to the wall and the power wall three with all of its components being the last one. So you'd have expansion unit and then power wall three or three expansion units and then a power wall three. How many expansion units can you put with one power wall three? Up to three expansions with one power wall three. So there's different ways you could have these in a stacking formation or like this. If you stack them though too, they have to be on the floor because each of these batteries is roughly 300 pounds. You can't have that amount of weight just pulling down on the wall um, with multiple batteries in that configuration. But the biggest things for us here at Solar Farm, having that extra capacity is huge. Uh, we're going into spring right now. I believe today is the first day of spring. So we're really, even with one battery, we would have been fine for probably this time of the year because we have that additional sun. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, snow on the panels, everything else. Um, but next season when we get into winter, this extra battery is gonna be tremendously helpful. So there's a lot more tests that we wanna run with the Power All 3 and the expansion unit. We're gonna do drain to zero capacity tests. We talked a lot in our other video about the tests we wanna do. Really, we weren't expecting to have availability of the expansion unit so quickly. So we really wanted to run those tests on this individual battery, but now we get to run them on the Powerwall 3 and the expansion unit, which is awesome. We've installed a couple of these for homeowners already, which it's amazing that we're already having these deployed out in the wild. Customers are liking them, have not had any issues to this point. And what we're really excited to do is just stress test these in-house see what the capabilities are in off-grid scenarios, really throttle these with the solar on the roof and just see the capabilities and uh, how hard we could push it. And also our next test is usable capacity. What we're gonna do is get these to 100, drain them to zero, see how much usable capacity is in each of these batteries. So do we get a full 13.5 kilowatt hours or is it 13? That's in the next video that we're gonna check out with these. but. Thanks for joining and checking out and staying this long in the video if you have, um, but this was the addition of the expansion unit at the New York State Solar Farm Warehouse. And if you like this video, think about subscribing and uh, liking this video. We really appreciate the support.